heat in California. A severe drought could force some emergency actions. Today, state regulators will vote on a plan to fine residents up to $500 for overusing water. It includes watering lawns to the point that water runs into the streets or hosing down sidewalks, and driveways, and washing cars without a, a shut-off nozzle. Dr. Reese Halter is a conservation biologist who's following the water crisis. He's with us today. How are you? Good morning, Jose. Great. Good morning to you. You know, it's not just California. I mean, Lake Mead on the Nevada-Arizona border is depleted to an all-time low. California's Department of Water Resources says that this year rainfall in Los Angeles is a little under four and a half inches. That's 35 percent of the average. San Francisco, a little more than 12 and a half inches registered. That's 53 percent of the average. Why is this happening and how is it impacting places like California? Well, welcome to a warming world. And warming world, really, for the man on the street, means climate disruption. And for the man on, and woman on the street, what we're concerned of and what we've got both eyes on the map here is our national food security. California, you see, provides y'all with 50% uh, of your fruit and vegetables and all, by the way, of your almonds, your apricots, your olives, your mm -hmm. broccoli, your carrots, and on and on. And uh, forget all, water is the rage here. We've got uh, drilling rigs that are running 24-7, red hot, that make 1977 when California drilled and found 28,000 new water wells. We're way ahead of that. In fact, people are paying $10,000 just to cut in the queue, just to wait to get their wells. Water is, is, is uh, $2,200 an acre foot. That's one football field, Jose, one foot deep of water. And on the 5th of July, we had an amazing event here. Farmers in the Central Valley bought 3,200 acre feet, $7 million of water, and they outbid the city of Santa Barbara. You know, it really is a crisis, it, it, and it's scary because it's, it doesn't seem to get any, any better. No, and uh, let, me, let me remind the, the, uh, the viewers, drought begets wildfires. Since the 1st right. of January, we've had 3,000 fires in California, $209 million. Last week, we blew $14 million, and we've asked President Obama for $615 million emergency funding, and it gets worse. Since 2000, every three consecutive dry winters spell mega fires, a la 2003, 2007, and 2014 was our third consecutive dry winter. We're in for something here, and this, it's frightening, and this is national security. You're right. You're absolutely right. Dr. Reese Halter, thanks so much for being with us. Really appreciate your perspective. Thanks, Jose. Good morning. Thanks.